thank you all for sparing the time. I'd like to um, thank uh, uh, Madame Sagalandria, uh, the COP21 chairperson, and who is now the French President's uh, Special Envoy for the International Solar Alliance, to join us today. She specifically come here today. I will ask Madame Royal to explain to you what is at stake and how is it that she sees that solar fits into the broader environmental issues. I am very happy to be here, very honored to be here. Excellency, Mr. Ambassador, thank you for taking this initiative. Thank you for the deep work you made about the text. The International Solar Alliance was one of the most important issues of the action coming out of the Paris Agreement. Second, we are now at 10 days uh, between today and the next uh, meeting daily with Prime Minister Modi and President Macron. At this moment, we have 58 countries who signed. As you know, it's 121 countries all around the equator, uh, which have the most solar energy above the head. And we have to transform solar in solar energy. They represent 73% of the population, of the world population, but only 20% of the solar capacity. And so it's a question also of justice, of climate justice, climate efficiency, climate justice. As I said, there is no need for you to be repeating in these sub-paragraphs what it is that you require. But here we are very open and we would like to see it revert to the origin of the We would just want to know from, from you what would be the interpretation of to assist with the implementation of solar strategy. So thank you very much.